Palma Rockstar Studio, this is Tony T, and now it's time for NFL coverage with a lighter touch of Vegas. It's our Chick Pick segment. Now, welcome back to the set of Gamblers Television with her Chick Pick, Trisha Reagan. Hello, Trisha. Hi, Tony, and hey, everyone. Now, Trisha, we had a couple of early quarterback changes that have worked out. You know, Kerry Collins hasn't lost a game at Tennessee, replacing Vince Young, and Gus Farratt has led the Minnesota Vikings to a 3-2 and record as a starter, replacing Tavares Jackson. Yeah, it's funny. Sometimes things have a way of working themselves out. I'm sure if you told these coaches that they weren't going to have their starting quarterbacks healthy, they would have thought their seasons would be turning out very differently. I mean, this is the reason for having depth in a lineup. You never know when someone could be out. That's true, and now it's time for Trisha's Chick Pick. Let's pick the Houston Texans at Minnesota Vikings with the Vikings, a four and a half point favorite. All right, take Houston at plus four and a half points. Quarterback Matt Schaub is the biggest reason for Houston's three game winning streak. With nine touchdowns, two interceptions, 73.6 completion percentage, and a 114.8 passer rating, I think we can safely say that he's found his rhythm. Expect Schaub to throw the ball a ton against Minnesota, the league's 20th ranked pass defense. But Trisha, Houston's on the road here. You know, it's always harder to throw the ball on the road, and especially in a dome where you have issues with crowd noise. Road receivers, they're always off a step slow as they can't get off on the snap of the ball. Aren't you worried the Vikings pass rush might get the shot. Yeah, I think Schaub always has to be aware of the pass rush, especially when playing a team with a great run defense. But he's been playing really well lately. Just last week, he completed 24 of 28 passes for 280 yards and three touchdowns against the Bengals. But Trisha, the Texans have been bad. I mean, they're secondary really bad on the road. They gave up 38 at Pittsburgh, 31 at Tennessee, and 30 at Jacksonville. True, but the Vikings haven't been doing too well defensively either. They are coming off their worst performance of the season against the Bears. Okay, Trisha Reagan says take the Texans plus the four and a half points. Thank you, Trisha. It's always good to have you here on the set of Gamblers Television. Thanks, Tony, and good luck to all the viewers this week. All right, that's going to do it for now. This is Tony T with Trisha Reagan from our Rockstar Studio saying so long for now. And check back to GamblersTelevision.com for Vegas-style sports coverage each and every single day.